In this video, we will go over how NCSimul is able to simulate a multi-operation program. Here, as the simulation begins, NCSimul is removing material. Here, I will start by increasing the speed of the simulation, and we can see that NCSimul is able to do a tool change and also a tool break detection during the simulation. After the first operation is complete, we can see all the colored surfaces and the removed material here. Now, NC Simul is temporarily paused on the M30. Once I press play, NC Simul continues by flipping the part, machining the back side of the piece. Here we can see in our job we have one program, a transformation, and then the second program. Here, if we go to our program window, we can see NC Simul runs the first side, saves, and then transforms the part and the stock. Once I press play, NC Simul continues running the simulation on the opposite side. Now at any time, I can zoom, pan, and rotate without pausing or stopping the simulation at any time. Here we can see NC Simul has no problems running through both jobs very quickly and efficiently. Here when we get towards the end of the program, NC Simul allows us to do many things after the simulation for analysis. After the simulation is complete, I can double click on any surface and NC Simul will call up the tool to cut that profile. Now if I click on an operation that was done on the previous program, such as this hole in the bottom left, NC Simul will call up that tool, it will flip the part to that part of the sequence in the job and allow me to analyze it there. During the simulation we can also see the tool change macro as shown here. If we want to make sure that we aren't going to have any collision objects with our tool change, we can slow it down and check for it, just like we just displayed here. The last step is to analyze the result. Here I'm going to do just a comparison to show if we've successfully cut the part that we're looking for. Here green means good, and if we look around the model, we're looking for any gouging of the material. Here we see a little bit of gouging in the corner, and I want to investigate. When I click on the corner, NC Simul gives me a measurement of the gouge material from the model. Here if I exit the comparator, we can see that this is a, supposed to be a radius in the corner of my target part, and I've actually machined a sharp corner instead of a bald nose. This completes the demonstration of a multi-operation job in NC Simul version 9.